everyone welcome back to part two and we are making the cuddly bear BB hoodie and this is what we have at the moment now I have a sleeve this is what we are going to start now we're gonna make the sleeve and then the hood and all the little finishing touches after that okay so to start the sleeve it's quite simple yet you just have to pay attention right now okay so what you want to do we're gonna start it first and then we will uh, look up all the measurements uh, so grab your yarn make a slip knot now uh, I suggest you leave a little longer tail for this I will show you afterwards why make a slip knot and what you want you want to um, attach in the very very middle right here so I had four chains so one two three four I'm gonna just attach in between in the very very middle so there's one two half double crochets and one two um, and I'm connecting right in the middle then we're gonna chain two the next thing that we are going to do is take those stitch markers try to make it a little closer okay so we left the stitch markers where our corners was. Now you're gonna take that out and you're gonna find the first cluster above it. Okay? So I can see that the cluster is right here. So this is where our clusters are going to start in row number one of the sleeve. You just it's easier if you mark it. Okay, so this is the first cluster. Before that I don't have any stitches or anything. And the same on the other side. Okay? So this is my first cluster or the last one right here. Now, uh, whichever way you have to go, and I will, we will talk about it in a second, uh, it's exactly the same. E either you might have to go from this side to keep the same kind of picture or from the outside. Now what you want to do to know which way to go is look at the little uh, clusters right here. And you can see that there's a little strand and it's kind of facing that way for me, okay? You see that? So it looks like it's facing this way. So that means that I need to go that way, okay? So it's facing from top right to bottom left, like a little strand. If it's the other way around, if you look at the other, it might be this way then you need to go from the inside around now it might be a little bit difficult right here okay just try to see okay so this looks like it's facing that way so you need to go around if it's facing that way your last row then you need to go from the inside that row okay so once you know which way you have to go so I have to go on the outside this is what we are going to do now leave your tail out and what we want is to make an even number of half double crochets from the chain two to your first stitch marker. After the stitch marker we have clusters, before that we don't. So I think I have enough space to make four half double crochets, okay? So it's two, four, six. So this is what I'm gonna do. So this is my first half double crochet. And I'm gonna put my second one right here my third one and my fourth one if you have more space you can do another two but I do not so one two three four for me okay it really depends on how much space you have right here but what you put right here you have to do the same on the other side after that we start with our clusters because there's a cluster straight away So go all the way around until you get to your next uh, or to your last cluster that you have for the sleeves, okay? So keep going. I'll meet you right here. Okay, so this is my last cluster. 
I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to finish this off with half double crochets. Now again I want to make four so I think one, two, three and four. Let me see. One. It's a bit, bit, big hole so I'm going to make it closer so I'm going to put it right here. One. Two. Three and four okay so just move them around if you need to not to leave any holes around now once you finish this row you're gonna find the chain two so this is the chain two and you're gonna go under it because it's easier just go under the chain two and slip stitch chain two and turn now I'm gonna make the next row on the inside uh, of the sleeve okay so now we have whatever number of stitches right here that we have just made half double crochet so I made four each cluster needs two stitches so I'm gonna have two extra clusters and all of my work will be in cl clusters from now on so I'm gonna yarn over again you can either make those clusters into the stitches above or you can go before and after the second stitch okay so you have it around two stitches so I'm gonna go before yarn over and after and make a cluster so one more I'm gonna go before and after chain one and then I have my usual clusters so I will just keep going until I run out of clusters again just like that and you can see clusters I'm sorry it's a little bit bright but uh, I probably a bad choice of uh, yarn color so keep going I'll see you right here okay so I have one more cluster and now again I have four half double crochet so one two three and four and again I'm gonna make a cluster around two of them and then the second one around the next two And one more chain one find that chain two that you have made in the very very beginning go under it and slip stitch chain two and from now on the sleeve is going to be exactly the same we're just gonna go uh, around changing sides uh, to get the length of the sleeve so I'm just gonna show you chain two and turn and straight away you have a cluster after that so yarn over around it and chain one before and after so uh, I would say by this time now you are very familiar with the clusters and the pattern itself so it is not that difficult okay once you establish the sleeve fully in clusters it is very easy you just keep going getting the length of the sleeve that you want okay so go all the way around I'll meet you right here at the chain two and I have my very last cluster chain one find the chain two that you started with go under slip stitch chain two and turn and again you find your very first cluster go before it behind it pull chain one and the next one so like I said this is fairly easy from now on we just need to get a good bit of length on that sleeve okay and then we will just finish uh, the very last row like we did at the bottom right here okay so let's talk about the length of the sleeve I'm gonna quickly show you right here so sleeve <clears throat> and this is the length of it okay so for three to six months the size that I'm making the sleeve should be approximately 16 centimeters length so from under the arm down to the point where you um, roll back your sleeve okay so you make it this length that is on the paper right here and then, then make extra three or four rows of clusters okay so you want the sleeve to actually be longer so 
my length it's probably about here somewhere let me see where my uh, measuring tape is okay so here we are you want to go to that length and then have two or three extra rows depending on how much of a roll back you want now what I usually do I um, when I crochet I usually think about making them one centimeter shorter than it should be and then adding the rows because you can always uh, because we have all of this extra rows we can always roll it back more or less depending of what we need so meaning that I went for 15 centimeters in length and then added another three rows plus the row four to finish it okay hopefully that makes sense okay so for this right here I would keep going until I'm approximately 15 centimeters in length instead of 16 and then I would add extra three rows so it would be probably about 18 to 19 centimeters so it's longer than it should be okay so for now keep going I will see you at the very last row okay so when you finish your sleeve so again let me remind you it should be approximately three four rows longer than the length of the sleeve okay so this is finished my full length is approximately right here and I have a few rows above it as long as it is longer than it should be you will be fine now we shall finish the end of the sleeve so you're gonna chain one you're gonna skip the cluster and make a single crochet chain one skip a cluster single crochet chain one single crochet just a very kind of simple edging around it okay so when you get to your last uh, cluster right here you have a chain one so you're gonna skip that and connect it to the other side like this chain one and cut your yarn I'm gonna leave a little longer tail so I can hide it and pull that out now I'm going to um, hide my tails now So right here I'm just gonna go into that seam where the chain 2 was all the way down I go one way and back up the same like this cut it off and roll it back now the one underneath so this is why I left the longer tail now you might have a few holes at the bottom I do not as you can see right here but sometimes it happens that you have bigger holes something like this on the other side okay so what you want to do you want to go under them in the row underneath and pull them a little tighter pull on the tail a little tighter to close those holes now I don't have them this time but I had it before on the others and I'm gonna do one more time underneath and you can pull it tighter to make them smaller if you have them cut and here we are now you need to make the other sleeve exactly the same uh, make sure you have the same number of clusters just count how many clusters you have on one sleeve and do exactly the same on the other now the bottom of the cardigan is or the hoodie is finished now we need to work on the hood so to start the hood grab four stitch markers 
and the first thing that you're gonna do so you can see where the first row makes this little corner right here so you want to mark each of the corners we need to do a little bit of increasing there like this and like this so you can see all four of them now grab your yarn your hook and we shall start uh, on the side under our left hand make a slip knot and we will be using these leftover chains from each stitch so you can see them right here on top of each single crochet we will connect into the very very first one We are going to chain one and make a half double crochet into that very, very first stitch. And what we want is we want to have seven half double crochets. We had five here, but we want it a little bit longer on the hood. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and two more, six, and seven after that we're gonna start to make our cluster so yarn over go into the next stitch pull out yarn over into the next stitch pull out and chain one and then we're gonna go into the next stitch and into the next stitch and chain one now when you get closer to your stitch marker this is where we want to do the increasing okay so you can see I'm gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull out my yarn, yarn over, go into the marked stitch, pull out my yarn, pull through and chain one. Now we don't, because we're gonna do an increase, we don't want to go into the next stitch, starting the next uh, cluster. We're gonna yarn over, go into that same stitch where we have just finished, so uh, for me it is in the, uh, where the stitch marker is. Then I'm gonna yarn over, go right into the next one. And pull and chain one. And one more time, yarn over, go into the, uh, the same stitch where the last cluster ends. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Chain one. So we, are, we added an extra um, cluster in here. So there should be two and we made it three because we didn't go into the next stitch but we used the same stitch twice. Now until we get to the next stitch marker we're just gonna go into the next stitch yarn over and into the next stitch. So we don't use the same stitches until we get to the stitch marker. We always use the next one. Again. Now the next stitch is marked so I'm going to use the same stitch right here. Go in there first and then into the marked stitch. Pull chain one and one more time I'm going to use the same stitch and I'm going to use the next one. Chain one and then after we do this we just continue using always the next stitch and the next one. Chain one. Next stitch and next stitch. I will show you that one more time. Just get yourself to the next stitch marker. Okay, so I'm very close to the next stitch marker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start. So I have two, well, technically one stitch before the stitch marker and I'm gonna start using the same stitches three times so I'm gonna go into the stitch that I have already used yarn over go into the next one chain one go into the stitch that I have already used into the stitch where the stitch marker is pull and chain one and one more time 
gonna yarn over go into the marked stitch and right into the next one chain one after that right into the next stitch and the next stitch so we are just uh, putting these really close together at the corners and one more time now technically it doesn't matter if you do it exactly like me it just has to be close to the marked stitches like this so they are all kind of approximately in the same place on the hood and again now I'm gonna use the same stitch from the last cluster and the next one chain one the same stitch from the last cluster and the next stitch and one more time the same stitch and the next one and now we want to leave the last seven stitches for the half double crochet so one two three four five six and seven So right here I have seven stitches left. Now if you uh, have six stitches left, uh, it is not a big deal. You might have just uh, skipped a stitch uh, somewhere because they are kind of hard to see. So the only thing that you want to do is you want to put the two half double crochets in your uh, last sixth stitch. Now I do have seven, so I'm just going to put one half double crochet into each stitch. So one, two, three four five six and seven half double crochets now the next row we're not gonna do any increasing we're just gonna go around making uh, all of our uh, patterns so chain one and turn and we make seven half double crochets into the back loop starting from the very first one one two three four five six and seven then our cluster starts so go around making your usual pattern I will see you at the end of this row So I have just made my last cluster and then half double crochets into the back loop and you should have seven of them. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now before starting the next row, uh, we need to see if we need to do any more increasing and increasing will be different now. So what you want to do is you want to put your hood together like this so we can measure the width so put the two corners nicely and place it down now first of all this is the hood width how wide we want our hood to be so I'm making three to six months and I want it to be 20 centimeters in width I'm gonna measure like this and I am at 19 so I can do another uh, one more increase to get to the 20 that I need you might need to do more but watch how we're going to do the increasing because we cannot do it right here anymore it will ruin our um, uh, picture we have to uh, make an extra uh, cluster right here right after the seven half double crochets and one more and on the other side so this is what we are going to do now if you don't need to do any increasing you just continue on with seven half double crochets and then your clusters now if you do need to do another increase or two you're gonna chain one and make six half double crochets so one two three four five and six now we're gonna put an, a, a second half double crochet into that sixth stitch from the beginning so we're moving this one back 
and then we want to make an extra cluster right here. So we're going to yarn over, I'm going to go behind that half double crochet, that seventh one from the previous row, and then in front of it. So we just made an, we still have the seven half double crochets, the last two are in the same stitch and we have an extra cluster that will increase the width of our hood. And then continue as normal until you get to the other side of the hood. Just like that. Okay, so continue on. I will see you right here and we need to, uh, to put in an extra um, cluster. Okay, so I just made my last cluster. Now I need to add another one right here. So I'm gonna go before the first half double crochet or the seventh last, whichever way you look at it. I'm gonna go right before it and then I'm gonna go into that half double crochet, pull chain one. So here we go, we have an extra uh, cluster and then I'm gonna go into the back loop and start with two half double crochets into that same stitch and then finish off with one into the all of the remaining stitches so you should have seven half double crochets so one two three four five six and seven we're gonna chain one the next row uh, is no increasing, we just go around making our pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After that, we start our clusters all the way to the other side. Okay, so this is my last cluster, the one that I have added in the previous row. I'm going to chain one and finish with seven half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And chain one. Now again, I'm going to give it a quick measure. Have I reached that width that I need? 20 centimeters. Place this together, lie down flat, and measure. So yes, I'm a little bit over, absolutely perfect, uh, no worries. Uh, if you do like like oversized hood, like really, really big hoods, you can do another few increases. Or again, if you haven't met that measurement, you need to do another one or even two increases. So I have done... I think two increases on this one and you can see you cannot see a thing at all. So let me see. This is my original cluster that I have started and I have two before so I did two increases to reach the width of the hood. Okay, so uh, like I said, I don't need any more uh, increases increasing so I'm just going to follow the stitches and grow my hood up to the height and this is the height of the hood okay so 19 centimeters 20 22 and 23 centimeters so for now I just need to crochet until my hood will measure 20 centimeters in length and I will measure from that single crochet row that I have right here up so I am at four and a half centimeters I have another good bit to go okay so keep going I will meet you when we meet the height of the hood measurement. Okay, so 20 centimeters for me. And so I'm finishing my hood. Now I'm approximately 20 centimeters in length. I'm measuring from the top of the shoulder, as you can see right here. So you don't want to be under the uh, length that you need to be. We're going to add another row. We will do a little bit of decreasing right here. It is going to be a little bit over, but we have to take the thickness of our work into consideration. So a little bit longer is absolutely fine. Now, for the next row, for the last one for the hood, grab two stitch markers. And you are going to mark six clusters from one side and six from the other. 
So I can see so one, two, three, four, five, and six. After the sixth one, I'm going to put in a stitch marker and the same from the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and like this. So I have six clusters after the stitch marker and six clusters uh, before the stitch marker. It doesn't matter which uh, side of the hood you're on, it's exactly the same from both sides. Okay, so until we get to our first stitch marker, it's uh, as usual, seven half double crochets, and then the normal clusters. I'll meet you at that first stitch marker. Okay, so six clusters made, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the stitch marker. I'm going to take that out because from now on until the next stitch marker, we're going to make our clusters, but we are not going to make a chain one after we make them. Okay, so I need a chain after the sixth one and then make a cluster, but no chain. You're going to yarn over and as usual, but no chain. We just want uh, to lose a little bit of that length at the back of the hood, so no chaining. I'm going to take half of the stitches out from this part of the hood. And no chain. I'm going to pull and no chain. And so on until you get to that next stitch marker. It's not going to be a whole lot, but it will make a difference. And keep going, I'll see you right here. So I have finished, I have not chained after that uh, last cluster before the stitch marker. I'm going to take that out and after the last stitch marker, we're going to start making one chain after each cluster. So we go back to normal. And just finish off the last row as usual. Okay, so once you finish that, what you want to do is you want to put your hood together. So you can see it kind of has that little bend because we did all those decreases. Now what you want to do is you want to either sew it together or you can crochet it together with slip stitches or single crochets. Completely up to you. I will use slip stitches. It will leave a little scar right here or when you crochet and it, you will be able to see that but I don't think that it's a big problem. If you don't like that you can just stitch them uh, together with a needle. Okay so make sure that you have, so this is the outside of my hoodie, that you are uh, either sewing or crocheting it together on the inside of the hood. So I'm just going to connect the two fronts. I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to go into the stitches from one side and the other side and just slip stitch them together. I'm going to go into the second stitch, second stitch, slip stitch, stitch, stitch. And just like that, all the way to the end of your hood. And then just the very last slip stitch at the very end. You're going to chain one when you're finished and you're going to cut your yarn. And you're going to pull this out. Now, uh, the next step that we want to do is we want to uh, sew in all of our tail ends. So I got my new 
needles this morning. I'm very excited to try them out. Let me see. So I think this one will be perfect. So I haven't tried them, so I really hope that they work well. So you want to start with the tail at the very end because it doesn't have a knot. So you want to catch some of that hood and go in. Keep that loop. I'm going to go back into the loop and pull tight and that makes a knot and my slip stitches are not going to go anywhere. Uh, probably you should check first if all looks okay on the other side because this is the inside of the hood but I'm quite confident so I will not do that. And then I'm just going to hide that tail a little bit in between those stitches. And the other way and just like that finished okay cut it off okay then we should still have a few more tails so this is how my hood looks like when I have sewed it on and like I said that has a little kind of scar but you can't really see it so just like that it's gonna be on the top of the hood okay so find your other tails I just have one here and two here and just quickly hide them and all we have left after that is a few details to finish <coughs> the hoodie that is so nice love those needles and one more at the bottom somewhere, right here. I'm just gonna go in through this side into those single crochets. Make sure you don't pull too hard uh, so that the corner is not um, too far in. I'm just going to go back the other way. And I am finished. Just like that. So my hood looks like this. Now the next step that I want to do is I want to put my um, buttons in to sew them in. So let me see if they look okay. So I would have one, two, and three. So I'm not going to show you how to sew them in. Uh, the only thing that I would look is I would make sure that I match the two rows on the other side and I would just sew them on like this. Okay, so all of that done, I have added a little uh, handmade with love little label right here. Uh, and now we are going to do the string and the pom-poms around the hood. Now that is very, very simple. We're just going to grab our yarn, leave a little longer tail, and start chaining. It really depends uh, on you how many chains you want, how many, uh, how long you want those little strings to be. So for now just uh, make a good bit of uh, chain so I'll make a little bit more and I will come back Okay, so when you have a good bit of chain uh, made, uh, now you will be able to control the length uh, still. So don't worry, just leave the hook in your last chain and take a needle like this. And we're going to start putting that into the hood. Okay, so what you want to do is you want uh, to start weaving it in where the clusters start in this part right here so as low to the bottom as you want so this is the first row so 
I'm going to go in here and just pull it through. And then I have right here. Oh, I went into a cluster, so I need to fix that. And then the next one. And the next. And like this all the way around the hood. If at any point you run out of chains, you can just make more and then just pull that string higher. So keep going. I'll see you on the other side. Now I have done that and I do have uh, enough chains even too long on this side so I'm just gonna adjust the length. I don't want the strings to be too long to, for the pom-poms to be hanging too far down. I think this is fine. Okay, so my chain is a little too long, so I'm going to just pull some of it out to match the other side. I think that's great. I'm going to cut my yarn. Again, I'm going to leave a longer uh, string. And I'm just going to pull that tail out. Okay, so here we are now. What we need to do is we need to make those pom-poms. Now there's so many ways how you can make pom-poms and attach them. Uh, it's completely up to you what you want to do. I will show you how I make my ones. I just do a really quick job on my fingers. So I'm just going to grab the yarn. Uh, first of all, I'm going to cut some tail like this. And then I'm going to just take three of my fingers and I'm gonna go around 45 times or so. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, 30, 40, 45 or so. I'm just going to take it off my fingers, try to not to uh, mess it up. I'm going to take that string that I have cut and I'm just going to go around approximately in the middle twice like this. I'm going to look if I need to adjust, if it's nice in the middle, I think that is absolutely fine. I'm going to pull tight and make a knot at the other end. So I find that this is one of those uh, no-nonsense quick ways to do a pom-pom especially a small one like that. I don't know if you could do a big one on your fingers. So one, I need another one of those. So I'll just do it off camera. Okay, so I have my two pom-poms. Now I prefer to attach them to anything if it's a top of a hat or the strings before I actually cut them. Again, completely up to you, but uh, this is just the way I do. I find it easier to cut them after I have them attached because when you have those little um, threads all the way around I find it hard to uh, attach it to something. Okay so I'm just gonna take one of the strings from the pom-pom I'm gonna find the little string and to the bottom chain I'm just going to attach it and so this is the knot, uh, the tail from the string I'm gonna keep that for now and I'm just going to make a knot with the other tail from the pom-pom. A knot with that. I'm going to take the tail from the string. I'm going to make a knot with that. And the other tail from the pom-pom and the tail from the string. Now, you probably don't need to do as many knots as I do, but I really want to make, it sh make sure that it's secure. 
and we have three long strands on our pom-pom. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. And that is it. Now I'm going to start cutting around on my pom-poms. So a sharp pair of scissors is fantastic. It makes the pom-poms so much easier to make nicely. And now I'm just going to cut around until I'm happy with what it looks like. Now, the shorter you make the pom-poms or the little threads on the pom-pom, the nicer the pom-pom will be. It will be much more furry. I'm going to make it much smaller than it is right now. Okay, so anyway, so keep cutting until you're happy with how your pom-pom looks like. So I'm going to come back when I'm, I will have them both finished. Okay, so my pom-poms are done. I'm happy with these. I will probably have to do a little bit of uh, cutting after a little while because they do intend to get one or two little threads uh, longer after some time. But for now, they are finished. Now, the next thing is, do you want to... Uh, sew together the hood a little bit okay so it really depends on the yarn some yarns are um, a little bit more slippery like my one this one is kind of very very soft and slippery so this rollback hood might not be staying in place okay so it might be falling back because just because it's so slippery it looks okay for now but when the, the baby is wearing it it might um, be falling back like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly grab a little piece of yarn. I really just need to make two knots with, with this. I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to make a little knot like this. I'm going to leave the loop so it's like the uh, starting chain, the slip knot. And then I'm just going to go, you can do it on the top if you want to do one, but I would like to have two so probably somewhere around here, one and two. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go under a little bit. I'm going to catch a place on the hood. And I'm going to catch a back of a stitch on the um, edge itself. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to find that loop. I'm going to go in. And now I'm going to pull tight with the tail. And I'm going to make a little knot. Done. I'm going to cut it off like this. And you cannot see it at all underneath the hood. And the hood is staying. It's not going to fall back. And I'm going to do it in one more place. Exactly the same. So approximately, let me see where I have this one. Okay, right here. So approximately here. here and back of some stitch in through the loop pull tight and make a knot or whichever way you prefer to do it it really doesn't matter as long as you just stitch it on okay and cut it off now that is done the next thing that we want to do is the little ears now I have oops one made 
so it looks like this now I have made it with single with back loop single crochets now you can do it just in single crochets and it will just be a nice and smooth uh, ear but I preferred for this cardigan I prefer to make it into the back loop just to give it a bit of that dimension a, a bit of the waves on the sides so it matches a little bit better okay because if you make it just in single crochets in the normal uh, in the normal stitches uh, it will be much more smooth it will be like more perfect where this one you can see it has little ridges all the way around just makes it look a bit more like the cardigan itself okay so you can decide how big you want I will show you everything uh, I will be actually showing you the size that I made right here but you will be able to adapt it if you want it wider and if you want it taller completely up to you okay so grab your yarn to start have your little needle close to you now what you want is you want to leave a good bit of tail before you start okay because we will need this to sew together the ear and make a slip knot now we're going to chain 10 for this size so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is how wide your ear is going to be now if you want it wider you can add more uh, chains uh, or if you want it completely smaller just take some of the chains away okay so I'm gonna have 10 chains and 9 single crochets so to start the first row we're gonna skip the last chain go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet into each chain to the end of this row so we're gonna have 9 single crochets and nine we're gonna chain one and turn now this is where you decide if you want it to have a little bit of texture or if you just want it to be a normal just smooth single crochet uh, ear it doesn't make a big difference uh, I mean for cr crocheting wise uh, so after you chain one you turn around if you want a smooth one you just start with the very first stitch and make normal single crochets like this but if you want it a little ridgy like mine then after chaining one you're gonna skip that chain and into the back loop you're gonna start your single crochets into each stitch into the back loop and again you're gonna have the same number of single crochets so which is nine for me okay and then again you're gonna chain one and turn and I start into the back loop of my first stitch and nine single crochets okay so this is row number three now I want to make 14 rows for my ear so I'm gonna chain one and turn and start single crochets into back loop so this is row number four I need to make ten more rows and then we can we will be able to talk about the height of the ear okay so I have my 14 rows done so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so this is going to be the height of your um, ear if you put it like this okay so this is how high your ear is going to be if you want it longer or shorter you just ad adjust the number of rows in the length right here the only thing that you want if you're adjusting is that you you see I have one tail on the right side of my work and you want to finish on your left side okay so it has to be an even number of rows so I'm happy with 14 rows so I'm just gonna chain one and cut my yarn again I'm gonna leave a longer tail like this and I'm going to pull this out we finish with a hook grab your needle any of the tails it really doesn't matter now you're gonna put the two sides together and you're gonna sew the, the the sides upwards okay so it doesn't have to be uh, very precise I just kind of just whip stitch it really quick 
I'm matching nothing on the other side it doesn't really uh, matter just stitching those two sides together and at the very top I'm just gonna go around like this I'm gonna go into the loop and pull tight that is my knot and I'll just hide the tail a little bit in that seam just a little bit like this happy with that now the same with the other side I'm just gonna stitch them together if you don't quite understand yet how uh, uh, yet how this ear works you will see it in just a second because for now it only looks like a little square this doesn't look anything like the ear so no worries we're almost there okay now again we want to put a little knot right here so I'm gonna go in that corner into that loop and pull hard so we have a little knot okay so this is where the shaping of the ear begins now we are going to put our needle onto into the inside of the ear and pull it out we just want it inside okay now we're gonna turn it inside out or the other way around this is actually the inside of the ear So we're gonna turn it like this okay so that doesn't look anything like this that is because we need to turn it to the side and put the two corners together like help it with the finger on the inside and just put those two corners together and now it looks like a little ear instead of a little square and it has this that little dip inside that makes it actually look really really cute so now what you want to do is you kind of want uh, those two sides to have a little bit of uh, stitching just to hold them together so I'm just gonna go right at the top where the dip is and one more time just to hold them in shape and then I'm just gonna make a little knot like I always do all the way around into the loop pull tight that's a knot done and I'll just hide it in the in here a little bit like that and finished now you need to make another ear like this I have two looking like that and then the sewing on part is really very individual whatever you prefer to do again I'm just gonna show you what I prefer myself I get two little needles oops my chair fell over okay so I get my two little needles and I usually uh, this is the again this is the way I prefer to do a little bit sort of in the middle of the hood maybe even a little bit closer to the front of it approximately here somewhere I would place it on I usually see that I have two rows uh, before the middle again you can um, you know just move them around if you if you don't like this so much I'm just gonna put it in place with a needle and the same with the other one I'm just whatever you do try to match um, with the air approximately at the same point like this so I can see this is the row and two rows down approximately like this then you can try to see if you actually like the ears in that place uh, whatever you prefer to do uh, so I have this I use it for hats but this is sort of the size of the head uh, for the baby this size so I can put it into the hood and if I lift it up sort of gives it the shape of the head so I can imagine a little better where how the ears look like I think I need no it's actually okay it's just drop down a bit it's gonna be like this so if you don't have this but you actually want to have a good look uh, of how it would 
look. So what I used to do is I used to sit on my sofa and bend my knee and just throw the hood over my knee just to again to have something solid inside the hood and then you can kind of imagine a little bit better of how that is going to look like. So I'm happy with that. Again I'm just gonna grab some yarn of the same color just enough to sew on the ear and like I said this is completely individual whatever you prefer to do. I like to start with knots like this at the end of all of my threads it makes it much easier for the first few stitches to actually catch on so I'm gonna do one two so the edge is going to be right under that second row from where I have finished my hood so even maybe here here I'm gonna get the very edge of the ear. I'm gonna go into that little loop and I'm just gonna pull it tight and I have a knot that is going nowhere. Then I'm gonna stand my ear like this and I'm just gonna sew it onto the wood in big big stitches. So kind of you can see I have kind of flattened a little bit the back of the ear so it would be standing up. I want to match the other corner so it's straight like this and then the corner itself. Okay make a little knot on that side and then I'm going to take this out and I just want to go over the front of the ear. Again I'm going to just flatten it out so the ear is actually standing and just in and out. And here we are. I have, as you can see, the ear is nice and secure. I'm just I'm gonna make the a knot with the tail that I had, and just hide those that thread a little bit in the ear itself, so I don't have to cut it too close to the knot. And done. So now what you want to do is to sew on the other ear. Now I find it a little bit uncomfortable to do it on the table like this because I have camera right above it and I'm watching everything through the camera screen of what I do. So I'm gonna turn off and I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna try to match the same amount of rows so that they look uh, as perfect as they can be but again it's everything that is handmade. Um, you know, it doesn't always come out the perfect exact way that you want. So I'm just going to try to do my best to match the other ear to this one. Okay, and so here we are. I have my hoodie finished. I don't think I have forgotten anything. Cute little ears, beautiful hood, pom-poms for fun, and just purely uh, pleasure to touch um, the stitches itself. So the cardigan turned out or the hoodie turned out just as I wanted. So let me know what you think. I was actually now when I was sewing on the second year I was thinking that this pattern could look beautiful for a girl perhaps with some pockets longer like a coat like but in the same kind of idea as this hoodie. Let me know what you think about that. I think I want to give it a try and see what happens with that. 
anyways thank you very much for watching let me know what you think uh what was hard i i, I do learn on um, on my mistakes so any kind of feedback is absolutely fantastic some people say that i talk too fast then the others say that i talk too much could be the they could all be right I probably do but I try to like I said I try to learn and my mistakes and any kind of feedback is fantastic thank you very much for watching I hope that this turned out for you very very well and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye